Yep, you guys have read the title. You already know what this is about. I'll start out by tracing the outline of my hook on some wood that I milled up a while ago. And then I'll drill out that shape. The drill is mainly just to get rid of a lot of material. And then I'll go back with a Dremel, almost like a routing bit, and clean up that shape. Then I'll clean up the edges with a chisel and clean up the inside with some files. So I'm going to glue almost like a face or a backing onto our shaped middle piece, let it dry, and once it's completely dry, I'll get some hot glue and melt it in that hole. And I'll try to get as much hot glue in there as possible. I'll hit it with a blowtorch, even once it's in the hole to, to keep it hot. And then I'm gonna put a piece of denim or blue jean fabric in there and shove my knife into that hole. And hopefully that hot glue will form perfectly around our blade. Then we'll trim up the rest of that denim, clean up the face and chop it out. And I decided to cut this to shape now. I kind of just wanted it to resemble the hook shape, sort of like a banana. I'll clean it up with some files and then trace that shape on another piece of wood and cut it out. In my head, I was thinking I could drill a hole in both of these pieces, toss a dowel rod through the hole, and the lid would act like a hinge and I could just slide it open, pop the knife out and slide it back. But you can see that just didn't happen because I cut that inner curve and the, the hinge is just way too close to the blade. So I had to improvise. I decided to just glue everything together and I got away with it. And right now, if you click in the top right corner, that'll take you to the video where I showed you guys how I made the hook knife that this sheath is for. And then all you have to do is brand it, sand it, oil it, and uh, see if it looks cool. And also make sure that it works. Yep, 